Doug hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 as a popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see, cause Doug loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. Wow, that's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> pretty good job, you guys. Um, we're coming to you once again from the, it says in big letters outside, State Theater, but in the program it says Stateside Theater, and I say, good for you, State or Stateside Theater. Why be pinned down with just one name? Like the stupid Paramount next door. They don't, it's not Paramount side. Oh, now I get it. Because it's on the side of Paramount where the state capitol building is. My eighth year at South By, and I figured that one out. Good job. You never knew that? How long you lived here, gray haired dude? 25 years! <laughs> you never thought, why does it say stateside in the program? Because I think if you live here and you drive by, you just think it's the state theater, right? All right, we've talked about it too much. <laughs> uh, and of course, this is part of South by Southwest in Austin, Texas! It's Saturday, March 18th, 2016. I know a lot of you probably got your drunk on in a very serious way <laughs> yesterday for St. Pat, like St. Patrick's Day, in, I, I'm insane. Every year I'm here at downtown Austin on St. Patrick's Day. That's not smart. <laughs> Gets fucking crazy. Yeah, okay, we all agree on that. So thank you for coming down here right before it starts to get crazy. When you get out of here, just run. <laughs> like, the world could probably end out there while we're doing this show. Sorry to bring everybody down with that concept. Uh, but since you got trash yesterday, and since you're at a film festival where you've got other things to do, I don't expect a high volume of name tags in the audience, but I know there are some because I got tweeted some, some good ones. Don't see any of those, there's just these. <laughs> no, you guys tweeted yours. And you got, you've got, uh, what does that say, Donnie Darko? And, and your name's Donica. But you didn't have to change, oh, you did change it to Donica Darko, okay. I was gonna accuse you of not changing anything. Like there was a guy here one time, his name was Grit. He comes in with a true Grit poster. <laughs> There's a big one there. I can't tell exactly what's going on there, but uh, it looks good. What's that? It's one. It's Brent Tasia. And it's, and it's drawn by you, this whole thing, right? And it's Mickey Mouse during the Sorcerer's Apprentice segment of Fantasia. And I'm right there enjoying a bowl, or is, is that supposed to be me? That's me smoking a bowl while Mickey's trying to deal with all these fucking mops. The mops are coming to life, and I'm over in the corner. Hey, I'm just going to smoke here, man. I, I'm sure the place will be really clean when they're done with you. Oh, there's one up there that I saw today on uh, Twitter that I liked a great deal. It's a uh, Die Hard themed. The dude's name is, uh, what is it, Nicolosia? Well, Nicasio. Nicasio. Well, I at least tried. <laughs> Fucking Nicasio. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and it's a total diehard thing, but it's uh, instead he changed it to uh, Nick Hard. <laughs> and there's a hole in his penis is coming through it. No, it's um, it's the hostage person in Die Hard with a Santa hat on. It's very, very creative and very large. If there was a largest uh, po poster name tag, you you would win. But thank you to everybody for, I, I'm horrified by me instead of Johnny Depp's face in that Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> show the audience. Stand up and show the audience, sir. 
Yeah. What's your name? Alex in Wonderland? Yep, yep good job. <laughs> It's time for, thanks to everybody who brought name tags. It's time for Doug Plugs. The High Court has one more week of new episodes, Monday through Thursday at midnight, 11 Central Time, here in this region of the world. And uh, that's on Comedy Central, so please watch so they let me make more. And thanks. Um, Doug Loves Movies returns to UCB Franklin in LA, Tuesday night, March 21st. Uh, we're going to be at Helium, it's a gas, in Portland, Oregon, and that show is sold out, Douglas Movies, but the next day I'm doing a stand-up show, that's Sunday, March 26th, at 420, bring a name tag, we'll play Last Man Stand with the audience members uh, in the sh during the show. And New York City, April 2nd and 3rd. All my dates and deets and links are at douglasmovies.com. All right, that's a newer thing. You didn't have to be great at it. <laughs> From the corrections department, Crispin Glover was in Willard, not rats. <laughs> they said rats, I was just like, yeah, he's in a rat movie. Okay, great. <laughs> Wrong rat movie, Doug. But people were nice about it. Everyone that tweets, tweet, the corrections department writes, you've probably read this already. But quibble, quibble, quibble. Um, I've got two bags. That's how much stuff I put in the prize bag for this particular uh, outing of the show. You're going to be amazed by. S there's actually some good stuff in here, but there's some dumb stuff too. Like this a, a bag of Rhythm Superfoods kale chips. Now, I, I'm not interested in a kale chip, but they really pushed it over the I'm never going to eat these edge when it's the cool ranch flavor. <laughs> I don't want to eat cool ranch of anything. What the fuck is, is that? <laughs> what flavor is that? It's ranch. Okay. Settle down. They're giving these away. I don't approve necessarily because I'm trying to be a good, good judge. But uh, here at South By, if you go to that kegs and eggs, place that's probably closed now for the rest of the festival. But if you went by there and, and you sp spun a wheel, if you spin a wheel uh, and it lands on the high court, they give you high court rolling papers. And I'm passing one of those along to the winner of the prize bag, plus a copy of my most recent CD, promotional tour, tool. <laughs> And uh, a copy of the DVD, Airbuds, the podcasting documentary that my friend Graham Elwood made. Oh, speaking of friends, uh, Noelle Wells is a friend of the show. Her movie, uh, Mr. Roosevelt, won two awards. I can't believe I'm in an award-winning movie. I thought I was going to have to wait for Lego Batman to win the Oscar for Best Animated Movie, but no. Uh, Mr. Roosevelt, I'm in it briefly, and uh, the rest of the movie's great, and um, it's, it's so good that it won the Lone Star Award, which is uh, movies that are set in or filmed in Austin, Texas, and then it won uh, Audience Award for a narrative feature, so, so good for her. While I'm bragging about friends of mine that, that had great movies, uh, Edgar Wright's Baby Driver won, yeah won uh, the Headliner Award, of, you know, of all the big premieres, they, they liked that one the best. And uh, Kumail Nanjiani and Emily Gordon's movie, <laughs> The Big Sick, uh, won a, a thing called Festival Favorites. And uh, it's an amazing movie, so... Anyway, uh, this is a pamphlet that they were using, to, that Noel made, Noel Wells made to promote Mr. Roosevelt, and it's really super cute. Uh, it's, you know, it doesn't take too long to read, and it's got illustrations, and uh, it starts like this. This is Emily. She's back in Austin for the weekend. Like, it's if, it's if you're at, like, a Trump-level reading, <laughs> that's where your reading level's at. You'll totally get what's going on there. You'd be like, okay, Emily, that's good. She's back for the weekend. It's probably going to be huge. It's going to be a spectacular weekend. Speaking of Edgar Wright, a baby driver, a small mini, a baby poster for, for baby driver signed by Edgar Wright. Yeah. 
That's how close we are. I got him to sign a thing. I think he signed, he signed a bunch of them. But it's still going in the bag. It's still awesome. You guys are going to love that movie. It doesn't come out till August. I like, I think you're better off than I am after having seen it because I'm dying to see it again. You guys are like, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to like it. <laughs> That's stupid. You're going to like it. A pipe from Peacemaker. I swear to you guys, I, I brought so much. Look at this. Some Mardi Gras beads that are, uh, that are little pot leaves. Yeah, I got those for showing my dick to a nice young gentleman. And I was on Jimmy Kimmel Live recently and they had coasters, so I grabbed one of those coasters. <laughs> I was on the 311 cruise. The guy made a cool patch that says Cozumel on it, so I'm going to put that in there. I got some buttons and some guitar picks and uh, a, little, a little green thing that's cool to hold your, uh, your like dab materials in. You guys into dabbing? Okay. And then, first of all, this bag is hilarious. This True TV at South by Southwest, they had like, they had like a lounge for uh, comedians working the festival. And uh, this tote bag just says on it, another fucking bag. So True TV's got a real attitude. And, um, and then also decorating the party, they had pillow, this pillow everywhere, so I took one because it says do not steal on it. And I was like that in the green room of a comedy show and it says true TV on it as that is made to be stolen. If there's still some there, they, people are dumb. So that's in the prize bag. Plus all the stuff brought by my guests. As you can see, we have four fabulous folks that are here in Austin right now and coming out to this stage. Please give a big warm welcome to Brandon Wardell, Lisa Delario, Seth Herzog, and Colt Cabana. This, this uh, pillow barely fits in this bag, so you have to do a whole thing like you, like, you know, with the uh, pillowcase. Thank you. Uh, help these, me. You guys these, are going to be there to help me out with all my words today. These seats look so comfy. The ones uh, that they're in. The ones that they're in. Yeah. We're, we're, in, we're in director's chairs, which are ne never my first choice yeah. for a chair. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, they're just uh, kind of weird, and they, they're very creaky usually, but these are quiet ones. Right? Yeah, yeah I'm, I, I'm rocking. Mine's we got, really the, we got yeah, mine's These are top of the line directors' chairs. Yeah. I gotta say, like the first the first place I ever lived in LA, I was like super broke, but I like found a director's chair like on the street, <laughs> and then I would just like sit in that in my room and feel important, <laughs> even though I had zero dollars in my checking account. Was it the only piece of furniture you had in your house? It was. Oh, I did not have a couch in that place. <laughs> did you it put was, your name on the back of it? What's that? Did you put your name on the back of it? Oh yeah, I should. I should have. Hey, do you guys I, want to talk about movies was, a little bit? Yeah, okay, right. Um, get it. Hey, this more this chair isn't the chair time. pod podcast. Was, I'm settling in. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, that was, that was awesome to get that insight from all of you, but <laughs> I want to introduce everybody so that the listeners know exactly which pearls are being dropped by whom. <laughs> and let's start with the first time guest on the show. Uh, We've, I've known him for a while, so it's about goddamn time. Brandon Wardell is here, everybody. Hi. Hey. Uh, you were a, uh, a bailiff on the uh, High Court yeah. program, so yes. I'd love to thank you for doing that thank at you. this time. I, did I tell, Super I, fun. I haven't told you about this. The other day, I got a, I got a text from my mom that was like, Hey, when does that when does that show where you play a cop come out? <laughs> and I, I I was like, oh, it, it's it's not coming out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> so you're really cool with her just not seeing it? No, I think I I no I I just I was like, uh, mom, I uh, it it came out and uh, I I smoke Kush. <laughs> mom, I, I smoke Kush. But you know, she knows. But I was like, oh, you, if you can watch it on Comedy Central On Demand, but I, I smoke Kush on it. Did you learn it by watching her? 
<laughs> uh, my mom, yeah, my mom's not cool enough to, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't blaze. Yeah. I, not, I mean, she does now. Nice. She watched the show and now she, weed ruined her life. <laughs> That's Lisa my Delarios, mom's, everybody. Hey, yeah. yeah. Doug. Austin Comedy Phenom. Phenom. You joined us on you this program me. last at uh, Fantastic Fest, I believe. Yes, and Capital City Comedy Club. Did you, uh, did you ever win the games? I won the one, I won one time. At, at Fantastic Fest? Yes. All right. So but I didn't feel that proud of myself because it wasn't a culmination of points. I actually was losing hard until the very last game and I just kind of won. Well, let me remind you, that's how it works, is those first yes. games don't mean shit. <laughs> that's why I'm back. All it is is just to, just to shake it up a bit before we get into the real, the real business. And also it's fun. Super fun. I hope. I hope it is. Good luck to you today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> back with us once again, uh, it's our buddy Colt Cabana on the other end. Hey, Doug. You guys probably figured it out. I'm going alphabetical here. Oh. So, Colt. Yeah. Cabana. That, correct. Do you yeah. know my middle name? Uh-uh. I, this, well, Colt Cabana is obviously a fake name, so I haven't made up a fake what? middle name yet. Sorry. Oh, you should have a fake middle name contest. Great idea. What's Colt Cabana's middle name? Oh, and people in the audience already have suggestions. She rose, her, she rose her hand like it, was, like it was a real contest. <laughs> She's like, I know his middle name. I know it. I meant like on the internet, but what's your suggestion here in the front row? Casper. Whoa. Colt Casper. It's a wonderful it's, middle name. But someone Casper. right nearby immediately said, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be racist? Like you can't be named after a like, color like, anymore, I guess. Because oh. it's, you know. Casper? <laughs> Yeah, that's white. He's white. Oh. He's and white. also, it's a sheet. Don't... It's a white sheet over a person. I thought over it was just the ghost sometimes. of a dead child. Well, another great reason to not have yeah. it is your middle name. Yeah, exactly. If you're a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> and on my podcast, uh, Helix sponsors me, so we don't we don't say the word Casper. All right, guys. Thank you. Was that a bad podcast joke on a podcast about advertisements? Wait, what does that mean? What's ca- What's what does that mean? <laughs> Casper, Casper is the, the ghost. Oh, Casper the, the ghost. The mattress that advertises with everybody except the art of wrestling with Gold oh, Cabana. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Wait. Uh, just, there's a mattress. It's very inside. There's mattress money to be made in this game? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had any mattress commercials. What's the name of the company? Casper. Casper Am I? Oh, there are Casper mattresses. It's mattress. called. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard of it. You I've it? never heard of Casper mattresses. It's a, a new th- company, I think. Yeah. What pods, what pods are advertising Casper mat- mattresses? We, we don't support them. Helix once bought one advertisement from me, so uh-huh. I stay true to Helix. Is that, a, is that another mattress company? Yeah, they come in a box, they pop out, they I, didn't send uh, me one for free. What's with all these goddamn sorry. mattress companies <laughs> that I've never even heard of? It yeah. ain't no sleepers. Everybody knows Empire Carpet Cleaning, right? From Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all know that one. Thank you. 588. Three, two, hundred. Oh. Empire. Yeah. Oh, I think wow. we got the number wrong, though. Two, that's, three, that's a great... Yeah, no, you, you ruined it. I wanted to give the wrong number a bunch of calls. <laughs> give somebody else a chance. Sorry. Just someone else to show up at your First house Empire is like uh, the leading carpet cleaning place. Now they're a hit show on Fox. <laughs> so, Seth. Hey, Doug Benson. Seth Herzog is here. Thank you, everybody. Glad to make it. Probably the, the, the most fun Herzog I've ever uh, come that across. That is true. That is true. Much <laughs> yeah. more fun than Werner. Yeah, he's just bleak and sad. He's and dark at a dinner. Honest. He's Talking too about honest bears. about everything. <laughs> bears. That's all he talks about is bears. Uh, what's, what's up with you, buddy? You're in Austin, Texas? I'm in Austin uh, just, for the, just for the day. I really? I just thought I'd come down and see what, what it's like on a Saturday. Um, it's really crowded. There's a lot of branding on everything. I had no idea. That's what it's like here. Um, yeah, no, they have uh, to wrap uh, saran wrap around all the street poles and, and yeah. any place where people could put posters. And oh. people go nuts putting the posters on there oh. for all the South By things. And then they could just tear the whole thing off of the pole when South By is over. Oh, why don't they just get rid of the poles? <laughs> you know what? I think streetlights out there are making it less safe. 
I think <laughs> I think Sixth Street after dark should be just dark. Dark. <laughs> Can't yeah. see shit. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Sixth Street by itself should just be like the purge, just that one block. Uh, you can kill it, whoever you want. It kind of already is. I know. We're like one cop not being there away from being the purge. <laughs> Um, Dark and dirty. Sixth. What's that? It's like, it's like the purge, but people are just like handing you mixtapes the yeah. whole time. <laughs> I love that people are always handing you DVDs and like, no, CDs, like as if I have anywhere oh, yeah. to play this. <laughs> right. <laughs> what am I going to do with your CD? <laughs> they should also hand you a CD player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a Walkman. Yeah. <laughs> but Sith, uh, Seth, yeah. can you be more Sith? <laughs> That's you, Sith you, Lord. Finally, someone finally pronounced it right. Uh, <laughs> could you uh, elaborate as to why you're in yeah, Austin tonight? Yeah, I'm hosting. Um, the Roots are doing a show across the street tonight. Lucky son it's of a, a bitch. No joke. Five hour jam session. <laughs> Wish I was kidding. And uh, I'm sort of the MC. And <laughs> he I, MCs the whole thing. I MC the whole thing. So I bring up all the different acts and do some jokes. And, you do, and the, the Roots have you do that all the time. All the time. This is like the seventh or eighth one I've done, yeah. It's so great. It's fun. It's I a long it. night. <laughs> It'll end at four. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically the, way, the reason they keep bringing you back is because stam your stamina? The stamina. I'm the only one who can stay up that, that long. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Wink, wink to the viewers at home. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for uh, you know f squeezing this into your uh, one crazy long day. Yeah. You, you, your pl your flight landed today? But no, last night at one a.m. Oh, okay. Oh, one a.m. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is today. You're right. Yes, one long day. <laughs> I need some vodka. Wow. <laughs> Do you have Ebola, Doug? Mm -mm. No, okay. Bird no, flu? I just love vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't asked that because you were drinking. <laughs> um, I have a uh, few questions to ask everybody, starting with, uh, we'll, we'll go with you, Colt. Uh, Oh, wait, we never found out his middle name. Oh, what it did really we? is? He said it, uh, didn't he? Cabbage. <laughs> Colt Cabbage Cabana. I love how everybody is just yelling out C words. Yeah. There's nothing more <laughs> what threatening a fun than game. cabbage. Yeah. If you were hardcore, there you go. you'd yell out the real Colt C words. Colt 45 Cabana. <laughs> what about Copa? Yeah, Colt Copacabana. I was thinking, right. I was thinking Colt Luxurious Cabana by the pool. <laughs> you have to add a few more words. But yeah, um, I will say. By the way, I did say I, I said Copa earlier, but it was wait. like quiet and people were oh, like, "Dude, no, it's just it just feels like oh, it feels man. like wow. you know when like you were in class and like you would say a joke but yeah. nobody heard it." And then somebody said it louder than you, and everybody laughs, and yes. then you were fucking mad the rest of the day. And then, like, you think about it, like, when you're 24. I totally like that. feel it's you. Less of well, a. Wait, clap for <laughs> both of us making that joke. It's, you know. <laughs> Great minds. It wasn't even like a, a metaphor, it's exactly what happened. Yeah, it's literally what happened. <laughs> It's <laughs> there is an interesting um, acoustic situation on the stage that I've encountered previously, and that's uh, it's hard to hear ev everybody. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, clearly and all the, <laughs> right. all the time. So mm -hmm. at any point, if you feel like you weren't heard, say it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, uh, maybe uh, the worst, no. the worst no. thing to say to a Cobra. bunch of comedians. Yeah. I've got a Casper joke to make that I felt <laughs> wasn't heard. <laughs> 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 I prefer your ghost jokes to be not heard rather than not seen. <laughs> Go ahead, though. <laughs> I, don't well, I, he, I don't think he has one. Oh, yeah, I'm not a real comedian. Oh, you don't even have one? Oh, damn uh, it. I'm a pro wrestler. I did a callback. I thought that was good enough. <laughs> Thank you. How 
how often in your daily life do you use I'm a pro wrestler as an excuse for something? It's great though. <laughs> so, I got 14 items, so what? I'm a pro wrestler. <laughs> I don't know why, what accent I was giving you there, but, um, okay, so, but what do you have for the prize bag, though? Oh, that prize was, bag. That was where we were headed. Gotcha. I feel every time I'm going to sit on this thing. You brought a lovely uh, South by uh, tote bag that they give everybody. Ooh, that... South by Southwest tote bag given to me for free because I'm a musician, but I, I said, I'm not a musician. I'm a pro wrestler. <laughs> Still got a music badge. Well, South by sends me a thing every year. What, what, how many roadies do you have? What kind of amps do you need? Like it's all this shit. I'm just like, I'm just gonna come talk. Yeah. I'm just gonna put on my baby oil, throw on the spandex, fight some dudes. That's all I want to yeah, do. But they just the software is just all about bands, yeah. <laughs> not not comedians and wrestlers. So this is an Austin-based wrestling company that I wrestle for. This is a t-shirt called Wrestle Circus. It's the reason why I was down here. We did a show at Emo's yesterday. It was amazing. You should support them if you're in Austin, Wrestle Circus. And it's like, feel at least. It's very soft and nice. It's one of those soft. Oh, yeah. That is, that is a fine poly blend. That's probably, that's probably pre-shrunk. It's not yeah. going to really shrink, That's guys. like $27. That's not $19.99. Nice. So keep that yeah. in consideration. Wow. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> I, uh, I make a movie series. I don't make them. Jack, uh, Jack Edinger is my editor and director, but I help produce and get it all together, and it comes out of my pocket. It's called The Wrestling Road Diaries. It's a documentary about the world uh, of professional wrestling, independent professional wrestling. This one's called Wrestling Road Diaries 3. Funny equals money, and I'm a comedic pro wrestler. I'm a comedic pro wrestler, all right? That's what I tell people. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at my wrestling jokes. <laughs> and uh, this is a documentary I just put out, so I have one of these for everybody. Um, or not every, but no, I don't have those. <laughs> no, no. You buy it. You buy it on the internet, coldmerch.com. Okay. And then this is a thing I've been doing uh, since I've been coming on the show. Uh, when I was in the early 2000s, I used to get Netflix, and you could only get the DVDs, and then I would burn them, and I would make my own art huh. on the DVDs. Oh, my God. So it's so always a highlight of his visits to this show. Yeah. He always parts with a few of these. So I get to, this is Coach Carter, and you can see I drew a basketball on it. And then this is Beer League, and I drew a little beer stein and a baseball bat. Those are my prizes. That's nice. I wish Beer League was like just throwing mugs of beer at somebody who has to hit it with a bat. <laughs> oh. On my cool. DVD, it kind of is. Oh, okay. Looks like uh, it. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for bringing all that stuff. Pass it down. There you go. Lisa, what do you got? Oh, boy. Here we go. Right? Oh, Lord. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, because I feel like I'm not so hot at this game, I always like to really amp it up with my prizes. There's a lot in there. So, first of all, the bag comes with it. Whoa. That's a pretty bag. You're going to be taking home your goods in Style. That's a really sparkly <laughs> bag right yeah. there. So I'll start with the, um, the piece I took from my own collection. I always like to bring something from my own collection. This is a, and I know you have like a real wildlife loving audience. So this is a, Aww. this is a bird feeder. Uh, it looks like a deer feeder. Yeah. It's, it kind of combines a lot of woodland um, It's got a deer meats. on it. It's got a deer but on I it. This is think folk a deer art, I would out say. Of it. It's hand painted. I don't know what size bird can fit in that hole, but I just had it on my window unit, so. so you can just sit and watch sad birds failing to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for a laugh. Yeah, just put the feed just beyond their reach. So, but then I felt like that's not enough. So then I went for a little. Uh, I went for a little shopping trip to, and I just saw so many great things. So I just really. I kind of splurged on you guys, but this, I mean, it's hard to hold. Can you? Oh, wow. So this, I, I wanted to take, but I'm going to let you guys have it. It's a t-shirt from the Roswell Alien UFO Festival. Oh. And it says Roswell, Mexico. Does it have a list of all the aliens on the back? This would be a... Uh, it's a youth medium. It's a youth medium. This would be a sweet baby tea on any of you fellas. I like a tight t-shirt on a man where he does his belly button poking out. So this is a great... Another just, pillow? 
this is this another is, pillow. Somebody's going to be set for this pillows. Is, yeah, just this one can stack in front of the other one. It says, I love Harry. Um, Harry Styles? It's got a picture of Harry Styles on it. Who's Harry Styles? That's the guy that's on that pillow. Yeah. It's that guy. I just this, thought he was, I was like, just a cute young guy named <laughs> Harry. And it says, I love him. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> there's a dude out there who loves Hang Harry on, Styles. Hang on, there's some more. Get to this, fuck that pillow. That feels, that feels a little too generic for I, a pillow that it's just some guy named Harry. <laughs> I feel like I should open a store today. This, it's not a picture frame. <laughs> this is a sweet belt. It is. Uh-oh, she's off mic. Hello Kitty. It's a Hello Kitty seatbelt buckle. Check. Here. Oh, wait. Oh, it's... It's like an extender? Now, listen to this. Just li- listen to this. I'm fat and like Hello Kitty. <laughs> Sorry, do it again, do it again. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That was satisfying to yeah. listen to. You should maybe look into work as a Foley artist. Yeah. Or maybe like a, 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 an hour-long YouTube of just that clicking constantly. I could <laughs> watch people that. People would be into that, yeah. yeah do people, people wear those as like real belts sometimes? Somebody Could here I? today will. Yeah? Damn. Yes, please, please. I want it. Oh, Brendan's going to put it on. I'm not going to take it from extend, you, the it's people. It's extendable, so you can really... But, like, while I have access while to While you're tr- putting on that belt, while you're cinching your waist. Uh, okay, so then I have two films. Wow. <laughs> this wow, belt what are you? is not... Stand up, you got to suck I, it I, in. You know, I've... I've Always thought of myself as right, like, right, lady, suck it. That belt's not going to fit on anybody here. It, you can extend it. It can. You yeah. can. <laughs> it was like a Michael Jackson oh, I move. Like I, oh. <laughs> because I'm bad. There's a lot I'm of bad. physical comedy going on for a podcast. <laughs> oh, man. Shamo. Sorry, folks at home. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is no fun for them. Well, he's putting on it's the. For it's us, a though. Hello there Kitty. We go. There you go. There you go. Really makes your shirt into a blast. What a this waistline. is like a lap band now. <laughs> it's a lap band, yeah. Oh, don't you? you okay, strap you hurt yourself. Strapped in and ready to go for a ride. Yeah, I'm gonna hurt myself. That was creepy. Yeah, that okay. is. <laughs> that's intense. So this, uh, sorry, the price is still on it. Do you think you can handle your own microphone now? <laughs> wow. Whoa. What a gentleman. That's wow. what she said. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I got this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Colt K- Copa Cabana. Um, this is the worst QVC audition ever. <laughs> <laughs> not when I tell you. Not when I tell you I have the the digital video disc of the man from Uncle, starring Hugh Grant. Whoa. Whoa. Everyone's favorite Hugh Grant. <laughs> He's got a supporting role in that one. <laughs> They're all actors I've never heard of. And oh then yeah, says, Superman. And then it says, and Hugh Grant. So that's that movie. That's from the director of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, the other, the other and then dude. this is just a real local, fun VHS tape. Uh, and it's Diane Horner, <laughs> Country Lion Dancing. <laughs> Diane wow. Horner. And it says, uh, as seen on TV, over one million souls. <laughs> Over That'd be funny million. to put out tape as seen on your TV <laughs> when you put it in the VCR. <laughs> That's it. That's it. This That's is just- awesome. That bag. I don't know if any of you were at Leprechaun 5 uh, in the hood yesterday, but I can't help mentioning that that bag looks gold to me. Golden, whenever gold was mentioned in uh, Leprechaun 5, we uh, had to drink and yell out golden showers. <laughs> they, they play some sick games in those wow. Master Pancake shows. Very, yeah. very relevant during this administration, you know? Golden right. showers. The right. thing. Russia. Yes. Trump. Uh, Cas- I'm Casper I'm mattresses. I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> so, so go ahead and pass that I'm, beautiful gold bag down here. And, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, they want the belt back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta Where's take the off the belt. belt. It's on Brandon. It's still on you. I mean, you can uh, still you can wear it till it. the end, modeling it. You guys are really motivated to win now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're gonna be like an instant <laughs> bag person. <laughs> Wait, uh, so y'all, all, all of you brought bags? Yeah, so we, we can shove your thing into the bag if you do. Yeah, that. I guess so we can do that. What do you got? Um, okay, so I ha- I've, I've designed shorts. I designed of course shorts you do. with my friend. And <laughs> do you sell there them? they are. There's, these are the shorts. Justin Bieber wore these on vacation once. Not these specific shorts, but like, we only made like 150 of these. It's so, me and my friend Robeson. It's the it's my it's my logo in the corner. It's a, it's an iPhone charger. It's his corner. It's his logo in the corner. And then like in like the genital area, it's the verified check from Twitter.com. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Um, and then I also just like there was like a bag of chips that, that they were giving out of this show, so I, I put that put that mm-hmm. in there. Regular flavor. We can just throw that out right now. Regular yeah, potato chips. Regular Brandon flavored Mordell. potato chips from Schlotzky's. They're from Schlotzky's. Ooh. They were sponsoring a comedy show on And they're only slightly Thursday. smushed. They were in my backpack for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that's when they're the best, because you can make a casserole. <laughs> <laughs> That someone says it should be cold casserole cabana. (laughs) These are all being considered, all right? But hit him up on Twitter with more suggestions. What if your middle name is. I think he loves it. It's just like Barbara. (laughs) Like, it doesn't have to rhyme or anything. Just Colt, Barbara, cabana. Wait, so when do we find out the middle name? (laughs) The real one? Yeah. No, the one he's going to make up. Oh, like we're deciding on it. I'm so fucking lost on the middle name discussion. <laughs> like I thought, I thought the way hey, I'm was... the one that's supposed to be confused about what's happening. I'm the confused God host. Damn. But you're doing great, and um... <laughs> it's <been> a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, what do you got? I, okay, I got some stuff. Bring it out. Sort of music themed. Oh, okay. I don't know if anyone is in a music plays weekend. guitar here is in a band. One person? You got to be kidding me. <laughs> One person's in a band? Yeah. Well, this, my crowd knows their lane. Yeah. One of the things I got here. This off. It's a guitar no strap. Just... Wonder Woman guitar strap. Oh. Yes. I think that's Weezer. If, is it Weezer? I think it's Wonder Woman. Is it I Weezer? I think it's Weezer. Weezer but stole it from Wonder no, there's Woman. there's two Let's W's. There's two W's. It's Wonder Woman. Weezer, Weezer. I thought, you know, I have an affinity for, for her. Also, and I think these, are, these should be coming back to style, and I think you should be the person who ever wins this to usher these, these piano scarves. Oh, yes. Oh. Nothing says I know everything about music than a piano scarf. <laughs> did you go to Spencer's Gifts? I did, in 1983. <laughs> I'd like to see one of those piano-playing cats uh, play that piano until till the cat scratches you to death. <laughs> that'd be a good viral, yeah. that'd be a viral sensation. And then if you're, um, for fun with, with friends, I got some outcast Mad Libs. Oh! Yes. oh. That's always fun. Jealous. Give them the give them the sample on the back. Oh, they, <laughs> we were we were looking at this back. This is this is what how they think you should play it. <laughs> hey ya, the new the new Outcast pencil sharpener is even more impressive than Miss Jackson's pepperoni pizza. <laughs> nice noun. And then it says, obviously you've been playing Outcast Mad Libs. So those are the hilarious answers that That's how fun it can get. That's how fun it can get. Like his, why would Miss she Jackson's make pepperoni, pepperoni pizza? pizza? Yeah. Shake it like a pepperoni pizza. pizza yeah. <laughs> I, he was saying, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson, because he ate all her pepperoni <laughs> pizza. <laughs> we never got the backstory on that. Now we found out why. Did that's why, that's why her daughter was crying. <laughs> I tried to sing it, but it went, it, it went bad fast. <laughs>
<laughs> Try to eat each slice of peppy pie. <laughs> yes! Yes! Give Doug two seconds to catch up, he'll do it. I just figured out that rappers have to figure out how many syllables they're working with. <laughs> <laughs> just like Shakespeare. All right, so all of that, that was probably the longest prize bag <laughs> talk ever. But all of that is going to go home with somebody, somebody this evening at approximately 6 p.m. Central Time. My apologies if you're on a schedule. 6.30 is when it ends. That guy's like, I gotta go. <laughs> Thanks for coming, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna check out next? Ooh. <laughs> you're a photographer? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks for coming by for a little bit of this show. That's cool. He's probably already taken my picture this week because I've been on the red carpet. Where is he going? Life? Yeah, there's a movie called Life. It's over at the oh. Zach, and it's, uh, it stars Ryan Reynolds and... Um, Jay Sean. How many times do I have to tell you not to say the answers? <laughs> I didn't realize it was a movie. I was just I like... set you guys up for that one, but I also didn't remember oh, Jay yeah, Gyllenhaal's you... in it. <laughs> Wait, but he is my I favorite. Right it was a movie. I thought. Well, he's like, I'm going to the red carpet of life. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what kind of? Oh shit! Is that? They used to say kick the bucket, but now they say, <laughs> yeah, walk in the red carpet of life. I was like, is that a weird way to say he's about to commit suicide? And tell us that's a weird way to There's tell us. There's a light in your family at the end of the red carpet, <laughs> waving Ooh. you in. It's like that just got dark in here. <laughs> it did. Um, but that's cool, that guy came by. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take a single picture, but whatever. It felt like he was leaving for something important, because I, I, I don't, you know, I don't know what his uh, workout schedule's like, but those are a lot of steps he had to walk up. What? <laughs> that's just mean. You guys don't have the ability to laugh at someone who's no longer in the room. <laughs> I love how you're all like, yeah, that's your hole, Doug. <laughs> that's your hole, you Doug. You just dig, Doug. <laughs> I think when you're fat, you can make fun of fatness. It's just my take on it. Here's a part of the show where, you know, the newly thin Burt Kreischer turns it off because I'm about to say... One more question for the panel. Colt? Yeah. <laughs> Got ahead of myself there. Yeah. I was going to say something, but I didn't, I didn't want to be that guy. What was the last movie you saw? Uh, on the plane, I watched, and I, I only remembered it because I just looked it up on my phone while you guys were doing that extremely long prize bag. Uh, I watched Hate Ship, Love Ship, which was with Kristen Wiig. And I feel that she tricks me into watching all these movies because I just think it's going to be like this hilarious movie. And it was, it was like a real movie with like real feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was for adults. She's done a few of those. Boring. Yeah, she, does. She, likes to, she likes to weave in those dramas and those uh, comedies that are kind of dark, you know, um, like, like the Spider Sisters. The Skeleton Key? Man? Skeleton Twins. Skeleton, skeleton Twins. twins. <laughs> I, I was felt... trying to have fun with the title. Oh. You were really trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Spider Sisters was a real thing. I was like, I haven't seen that, but I've seen the skeleton key, friends. <laughs> but uh, even though you got tricked into watching it, it was a rewarding experience? Yeah. Kept my attention, and it was, uh, she's really good at that, which is kind of cool, as I know her from SNL, being a, a comedy person. It's quite a compliment to say that a movie you were watching on a plane, uh, you, you know, you, you didn't walk out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could it kept easily... me right there in my seat, because yeah. the seatbelt light was on the whole flight. A lot of turbulence. A lot of drama in the movie, a lot of turbulence in the plane. <laughs> Tetris was a home button away. It really was. And I stuck with it. And I stuck with it. It was cool. All right. Lisa, have you seen any movies lately? Yes, in fact, I just saw... John Wick 2 at the drive-in. Oh, at the drive-in. Only way to see that. 
Well, was it a double feature, or did you just leave after John Wick 2? I left after John Wick 2. <laughs> chapter was, 2. It was late. It was, uh, oh, is yeah. it John Wick Chapter 2? You get sleepy reading a good book <laughs> at the drive-in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're I welcome. mean, I had, I've never seen John Wick number one. Uh, I know, I know, you guys are so, I, I, it, but, I mean, I didn't really want to see John Wick 2, but it was either that or the Lego movie. Oh, the Lego Batman movie. I, I mean, I, do you guys like John Wick? You yeah, are, the Lego Batman movie. You are tearing down my world right now. I know, Those I know. Those are my two I, favorite movies this year. <laughs> two, two of my favorites. Well, I kind of was watching the Lego movie when I got tired of reading John Wick 2. Uh, but it was, because you can see the different screens at the drive. There's a drive-in yeah. out in New Braunfels. It's really cool. It's like 45 minutes south of here. There's a New Braunfels? There's a new Bromfels. <laughs> but, uh, but you got through it okay? Or you, you thought it was uh, too violent? Or what's, what's your issue with it? I kind of felt like the whole movie, I was just watching somebody else play a video game on a big screen. That's what it felt like. That's and what I, I like about it. And I also... <laughs> did you like it? Did yeah, you enjoy did. it? Okay, yeah, you did. guys liked it? Yeah. All right. I feel like the script must be like... Just all onomatopoeias. <laughs> Just. Yeah, I bet you they didn't write those down. <laughs> I would love to write those down. I bet you they down. improvised those on set. <laughs> <laughs> Only the script from the Batman TV series wrote those out. <laughs> and Lego Batman! You gotta, right, I'll see that one next Let me time. tell you this. To make the experience complete, go see Lego Batman and then watch John Wick 2 whenever you're bored with that. <laughs> and so you get like the full both sides experience. Okay, and, I'll do that. And probably won't like either movie. <laughs> I don't know. Because you're an it adult person. Well, I like thank movies you. that are made I for children. I wouldn't go that far. Well, okay. Fart. Sorry. See? Brandon, what do you got? Uh, I, I didn't like that she was talking down on Lego Batman. I thought Lego Batman was very good. Yeah, right? she, but, you know, we know she hasn't seen it, so it's okay. Right, yeah. Um, get yeah. Out? Perfect It's movie. my podcast, Brandon, and I will stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, watched, uh, I watched The Big Sick this week. It was really good. Right. You yeah. saw that, that here. Uh, yeah, I saw uh, that. You were part of that South audience by. that helped give it an award. Yeah. Did you vote on your way out? Um, I, would you give it a five? No, I, I, didn't, I, I would give it a five, but I didn't vote, and I felt bad, but it won, right? It won so anyway, yeah. It, yeah, so voting, voting doesn't matter, right? <laughs> is that the is that That's the, the lesson take you away? got. That's the takeaway. <laughs> take that home with you. <laughs> So, yeah, so, it, great. It was, I laughed I, and I cried. You no, know, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. The Big Sick, I think it's out in June. I'm very excited to see it. Yeah. New York, Chicago, and L.A. are going to get it first. Oh, my then God. it will spread. Is it, <laughs> like is that a, a virus? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say cancer, but that's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> Cold cancer cabana. Yeah. <laughs> I think you nailed it, Colt. <laughs> uh, Film-wise? What? What? <laughs> yeah, what was the last movie you saw? Um, I watched a documentary on HBO. Uh, <laughs> Tickle. Has anyone seen Tickle? Oh, shit. Here we go. Have you seen it? This damn movie. I have not seen it's it. It's pretty yet. great. And so everybody good. that comes on it? So wants good. to ruin it more. Well, I don't want to say anything. I think I Colt's the anything. first person that may have mentioned it on this show. Maybe. Well, Colt, were you, were you in it? <laughs> it's kind of it's I weirdly like, I related because it's weirdly a world that I kind of know a little I bit I know about. it is yes. I, do you, you must know some of the guys in it maybe there was a wrestling thing called cyber fights years ago uh -huh. that like I wasn't good enough looking to be in I kind of I was kind of sad by it it was all like the cute little hot wrestler dudes and they were like you're a little too chubby Colt so I was like oh it was all what? just like twink wrestlers yeah 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 hell yeah so that's <laughs> 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 so this reminded me a lot of yeah. Kind of this. I don't know what you guys know about it, but it's uh, a sort of weird, l accidental look into uh, these competitive tickling videos in the dark world that makes them. 
And it gets basically these these. You no, know, people Zealand... say it's twisty, and then I always yes. have to stop them from talking anymore about it. <laughs> Because, you know, yeah. don't you think the less you know about this 100%, one, the better? I knew zero about it before I watched it, and I loved it. Zero. I'm going to tell you my movie mm-hmm. that I just saw today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you to not listen to a word anybody has to say about it if you want to just have, at worst, an interesting experience. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might have to leave the theater at some point. I've said too much already. It's called Most... Beautiful Island. Okay. Um, and, right? It's a movie you can't... Anything you say about it ruins it. Like, the little description that the South By had was just like, a woman comes to New York and tries to make her way and uh, makes some bad decisions or something like that. And I was like, okay, that sounds all right. And then now I know that knowing anything more than that uh, ruins this movie. Wow. Like, there's one word I could say that would be a great middle name for Colt. <laughs> that if I said it out loud, it ruins the movie. It absolutely ruins it. I'm not gonna, don't panic. <laughs> Plus also, this is a movie you never heard of until I just started talking about it. But it won, it won an award here, uh, Best uh, Narrative Audience Award for Narrative Feature. Or no, it won the Grand Jury Award for Narrative Feature. And it's, uh, it's a real interesting experience. Most beautiful island, and uh, it should, be, uh, should show up in theaters eventually. Doug, a friend of mine, saw it and he compared it to Hostel. I was like, ew. Right. That's, I can't even <laughs> oh, say that... whether that's accurate or not. Okay, okay. So there might be some torture. <laughs> Do you have to sign like a waiver when you leave the theater not to say anything? No, but I just feel like there's, it's one of those movies where there's no reason to watch it if you know, you know, if you have any idea what's, what's going oh, to happen. Like, it's one of those movies where the whole point of it is the entire time you're like, what is fucking going on here? And then you're like, that's what's going on? (laughs) That's all we needed to hear. Was that Burt Kreischer? What was that? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe what's going on! (laughs) Is Manhattan the island? Yes. Oh, Seth. Seth, good work. I'm not watching Four more questions. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) Although, actually, for those who have seen it, you can watch the whole thing and go, oh, yeah, I guess that's the island. Damn it. It takes place there, but it could be someplace else. All right. Roosevelt Island? (laughs) Sorry. Is New York the real star of the movie? (laughs) (laughs) No, the real star is a... Don't say it, Doug! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Now, this is the part where I say... Let the games begin! Yeah! Lisa, so I don't torture you anymore with this. Uh, I'm the, I'm the, uh, the voice of Bane in Lego Batman. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I'd known that, I would have definitely chosen that. No, that I'm, I'm also one of the game. guns in John Wick 2. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm one of the guns in John Wick 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a great that year. That part I liked, actually. <laughs> Things are going great. Uh, all right, so um, lots of folks brought awesome name tags uh, to the event today here oh. at the stateside. And um, each of you has to select somebody you'd like to play for. Be careful oh with the uh, steps over here. Uh, but get up from your seat and go choose uh, a, a name tag. And then bring it back. And while you do that, we'll do this. We'll be right back after these messages spoken by me. Just one message. We'll be right back. Hey, today's episode is brought to you by good friends at Audible. Do you love books but find that you never have the time to read them? With Audible, get audiobooks and listen to those books you've been meaning to read on the go. Their app is free and works on iPhones, iPad, Android, and Windows Phone. You can also download and listen on your Kindle Fire and over 500 MP3 players. With Audible, you own your books, so you can access your books anytime and anywhere right from your smartphone. Audible also has the great listen guarantee. If you decide you don't like the book you chose, no worries. You can exchange any book you aren't happy with for another title anytime, no questions asked. Need a recommendation? How about the latest from a friend of the show, Michael Ian Black? 
Navel gazing, true tales of bodies, mostly mine, but also my mom's, which I know sounds weird. Wow, that's a long title, and it's available now on Audible and narrated by Michael Ian Black himself. Travel days wasting your time? Buckle up and settle in while new ideas take off. You can't make more time, but you can make the most of it. Turn your travel to something more with a free trial at Audible. Go to audible.com slash D-O-U-G, that's Doug, to start now. Back to the show. All right, cool. We are back, and uh, Lisa went out there and grabbed the, uh, the apple of my eye. It's the, uh, it's the Nick's uh, Die Hard poster. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Wow. I like when anyone uses glue for their... Yeah, it's a real art project, and yeah. I, you know, from the back, I, I couldn't uh, describe it. Uh, there's a foot and glass and blood coming out of the foot. Well, oh, that, oh, that's great. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> Nick, Nick, this is your... This that's is his your, name. His name's all sparkly. Nick Die Hard, Nick Die Hard. And then his shirt says, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. You, I, don't, you, I don't know what, what is this? Do you know Die the Hard? movie Die Hard? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's where Santa Claus like, um, cuts up people's feet. Lisa, I played the sweater in that movie. And Weezer sings the sweater song over the end. Yeah, that, was, that was vintage, vintage <laughs> duck. <laughs> All right, what do you got there, Colt? Um, I have Donica Darko, which is that movie with, um, what's his fucking name? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I picked it because my friend Stu Stone was one of the uh, one of that guy's friends, and he dressed up like Hulk Hogan in the Halloween scene because he was a huge wrestling fan. And he made that decision by himself, and he's very proud of it. And I wanted to share it with the world. Uh, there's pictures of Kumail, Al Madrigal, and two girls I don't know, and Doug. All gr- all great guesses of who's going to be here today. Yeah. <laughs> I like to keep everybody guessing. Wait, there's two girls. Is that both you guys? Noel Wells is on there, the uh, director of Miss Roosevelt. Are you Noel Wells? <laughs> Who's Noel Wells? Noel Wells is the she's directed Mr. Roosevelt. She's on she was just on this podcast oh, yes. recently. Master of None. Oh yeah. Yeah. Saturday Night Live for <laughs> one year. <laughs> oh she Oh, that, that was real. I thought that was a callback to Kristen Wiig. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, great. <laughs> I Thanks for coming by, Colt. <laughs> by the way, like once every like couple weeks, somebody tells me I look like Donnie Darko. What does that mean? That, and somebody was just like, somebody just yelled, no. I don't know. It's people on the internet. Hmm. I don't, you know. He wears glasses like the, yours? I, I don't always wear glasses. Okay, when the glasses are you off, know. you look even less like him to yeah. me. Yeah, it's... Do they I don't mean know. the rabbit version? I've never watched Donnie Darko. <laughs> but why do they ever say any other Gyllenhaal movie? That's literally the only Gyllenhaal movie. So it must just wear his hair like, is similar to yours. Yeah, because that's the thing. People are never like, oh, you look like Jake Gyllenhaal. They're always like, oh, you look like Donnie Darko. Hmm. People say to me, you look like the rabbit in Donnie Darko. <laughs> <laughs> and I do not take that well. <laughs> Brandon, you kind of look like Bubble Boy. <laughs> Wait, okay. I don't, John Travolta? I mean, that's <laughs> now, if you guys cool. heard no like that movie us. where no Jake Gyllenhaal is in hot. I, I was actually not joking. <laughs> not to get too serious on everybody, but have you guys heard about this thing that's going around here at South by this uh, virus where uh, you, you spring pink pubic hair just suddenly <laughs> out of nowhere? It's not dangerous, but it's just tons of pink pubic hair. You know what's funny? I heard about appears. this. I heard about this. Like, it comes through your pants. Desperately so trying not strong. to catch it. No, you got it, buddy. <laughs> Did you what go swimming? What the hell is that? You just took a wig off a clown as a name tag? No. It's just I have an issue, and, I'm, and I need some scissors. <laughs> um, no. Um, yes, Yasin in the audience didn't have a name, like a poster. He just had a funny wig, and I was like, you know what? That's a lazy guy, but an interesting prop. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. The whole virus bit. Yeah, right? It worked. <laughs> yeah, but you ruined it, because now people clearly know it's just a wig from Yasim. Yeah. Oh, 
He's saying his afro makes it hard for him to wear that wig. Oh, you can't wear this wig because you have too much real hair? Yeah. It's just... Or when you take off the wig, people are like, that's the same thing. Why would you, why would you even bother wearing a wig? It's the same thing. <laughs> that's a funny bit that a comedian does. <laughs> is, All right, so... Oh, is MMFA when you want to hook up with a male, male, FFA. female, an Asian? Oh, it's from the movie MFA. There you go. Gotcha. It's an afro. His not so an lazy afro. after all. You can't pull a lot an afro. of fourth, lot of fourth side. But your name's not even on here. Well, but what? you could just put your name on it. Like tape. That it. is a good point. Yeah. I mean, I do feel like I when I was looking, I felt bad picking one because like people work so hard on them. I did yeah. too. I and hate then that part. this guy fucking brought a pink wig. <laughs> There were people spending like a whole night like on Photoshop like a night? I wanna Photoshop. I wanna impress Doug. I gotta fucking like get on Photoshop. It's, Photoshop. No, I can't go out. I gotta impress Doug yep. on Photoshop. And this guy fucking brought a pink wig. That he bought on the way here. Wow. I'm sorry, but Nick went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> if mean, this were an episode of Friends, it'd be called the one without the games. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're just having too much fun. Yeah. We are. No, that's, that's the truth. I'd force it along if we weren't having fun. Um, but that, so that's your fun prop to have. Yep. The, just a big pink afro in your lap like you're getting... <laughs> Don't do that. Getting blown by a clown. I yeah. had to say it. I'm getting very it's pretty obvious with Ronald but... McDonald right now. Gentle. <laughs> All right, so Brandon, I skipped you. Well, who are you playing for? Yes, uh, Anna, Anna Graham. She, she made a, wait, Instead yeah, Instead of an wow. American tale, it's an anagram tale. It's an anagram tale. Doug goes south by southwest. And yeah, because Fievel went west, you know. Right. It's, it's like Fievel goes west. It's very cute. It's a cute poster. Good work. You didn't bring a pink wig. They got James Franco um, on there, though. That must have been disappointing. They got James Franco's Tommy Wiseau. As a, guest. a girl can dream. It's, 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 there's James Franco's Tommy Wiseau. Uh, I don't Jamie know. Jamie Foxx, he's not coming on my what's show. What's Jamie ever. Foxx doing over here? He's in Baby Driver. Oh, uh, which is just like Boss She really Baby, made right? it a South by Southwest um, theme thing. It's really Noel Wells. quite clever. Yes. Noel Wells getting some good-ass poster time. Yeah. Seriously. Um, and then, I don't, what's, is that you in the corner? That's you in the nice. corner? <laughs> uh oh. Are you in any other REM songs? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, okay. So, seriously, you guys, let's play some games. Yay! Uh, remember, Lisa, this first one doesn't matter. <laughs> this is called Argo Fack Yourself. <laughs> Argo? Argo Fack Yourself, yeah. And it's, um, there's a frequently asked questions section on a lot of movies on the IMDb page that you can access on their website, not on the app on the phone. You've got to go all deep into the website, but it works. Sometimes it'll say there are no frequently asked questions. <laughs> Which, you know, that's They got rid of the message sad. boards, right? On oh, did IMDb? they? Yeah. That's a great move. I mean, yeah, people were, people were wild on there. They're terrible. And then, like, yeah. it's, it's the first thing on your thing is terrible. I've already <laughs> talked about this. Anyway, so. <laughs> Bunch of cyber clutter. Yeah. <laughs> I had a misunderstanding with a lady on there, and she, she decided to be really mad about it. Um, Did you respond, like, on IMDb? No, because don't you have to, like, to make the comments, don't you also have to sign up or something? Yeah, I thought that you maybe signed up. No. I thought it was set up for a... I've done yeah. that on a couple of message boards in my life, and it never makes you feel better. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's better to just, like, read it and just be like, <laughs> and, then, right. and then And then go, uh, you know, go do something fun. <laughs> <laughs> just do something fun with your life. But... Um, what was, I, what was the point I was trying to make? Argo, trying fact to follow yourself. You. Oh, Argo, fact yourself. Right. So, frequently asked questions. I'll start reading some from one famous movie. One hopefully known movie. 
and just jump in and, and guess titles of movies until the first person who gets it right is the winner of the game. So you're going to say the actors' Got it. names? Oh, you're I'm going to say. No, he's going to say the frequently asked questions section on the IMDb Thank page. You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I literally didn't know if you were confused or not. I really was. I okay. was. Now I got it. <laughs> what movie has these frequently asked questions? Starting with, is Stephanie a lesbian? Uh, full House. <laughs> oh, that's good. The movie. <laughs> there is no Full House, the movie. <laughs> if I could give you a half a point, I would. <laughs> <laughs> mean Girls. I don't no. know. Anybody else? I'm just. I wish there was like a category on IMDb that I could just like look up of like movies with characters named Stephanie, and then I could like look at it on stage right now, but I can't. That would be sweet. Wow. I can't believe that's so shocking that you thought of one way to use the internet that wouldn't work. <laughs> When, in fact, just the internet would get you the answer, probably. I guess, yeah, I could be right. Yeah. <laughs> like, if only I could It's not a question it. IMDb will specifically answer, but there's some other places I could think of that might be like, let me help you out, Brandon. <laughs> okay, here's the second question. <laughs> what is Randy's fate at the end of the movie? The Wrestler. That is correct. Because I'm a wrestler! There we go. I'm a pro wrestler! It would have been embarrassing if you didn't get it. Yeah. So, I totally teed that one up for, for Cole because I thought that would be funny. Uh, I feel so good, too. <laughs> How many times have you, have you seen that film? I'm kind of in the film. When, they, when J- Judah Freelander hands over the flyer, my name is on the flyer. Don't like to brag. Oh, boy. Is Stephanie a lesbian? Who's Stephanie? <laughs> All right, and then what happened? I don't want to say what happens to Randy at the end of the movie, but what? why does Randy have such... Uh, <laughs> why does Randy have such problems with the name Robin? Oh, that's his... That's Nemesis his, or something? No, that's his real name. Real name? name? Yeah. Okay. And then... <laughs> Does this film portray wrestling as fake or real? Oh. Oh, you mean a a 60-year-old wrestler working at a deli counter? So real. (laughs) And Todd Berry yelling at him? (laughs) Sounds about right. (laughs) All right, well, that's that's awesome. You won the first game, Colt. uh, I feel I don't have to do anything after this. (laughs) Pressure is off. Lisa, you're next. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to play Ron Bennington's Adjusted for Inflation Bureau game. And that's a uh, box office mojo uh, gives me the answers for this. So blame them if uh, anything sounds incorrect. Uh, they take uh, actors and they will tell you, they'll list their movies in the order of the mo- how much money they made after adjusting for inflation. So they really figure it out and come up with a list. So it's a little hard to, to guess. But the idea is I'll tell you the name of an actor. We'll start with Colt, and then we'll just work towards me. And each one of you gets to guess one movie that that actor was in. And if it's in that actor's top three after uh, inflation adjustment, you will get either three points for number one, two points for number two, and one point for number three. We'll play a few rounds of that. What do you think? Bring it. Fascinating. I feel like this game would be hard enough without the inflation. <laughs> Why do we need the inflation? You know what? It really is a, absolutely, it doesn't change the game much. <laughs> Good. I'll but it can. I'll at it. Because when you get Gone with the Wind in the mix, look out. Because <laughs> people will tell you it made more money than any other movie after you ingest for inflation. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, Colt gets to go first. Just name one movie that you think is in the top three for everybody's favorite. Clive Owen. I think I know The Transporter. Okay. Is that right? 
I'm not going to tell you whether that's right or wrong. You're just going to have to live with it. <laughs> Lisa? Say transporter too. <laughs> uh, a James Bond movie? All right. Brandon? Yeah, fucking. Who here wants to get some points? Brandon? <laughs> Who know like I don't know Clive Owen movies. I don't, I know he he's British. Okay, right? Seth. They, they they call they call a toilet the loo. The great there. thing about this is it's gonna get harder, not easier. <laughs> Fucking shit. Seth. Oh man. Closer. Okay, that is huh? a Clive Owen movie. They probably didn't do very well. Uh, I don't think it did. Transporter very well. is not. Uh, his number one, uh, he, I don't know how big his part is in this, but it's the mo movie that's made the most money that has him in it, The Born Identity. Oh. Yeah. Man. I can't remember him in those movies, but I'm not a fan, really, of those movies. Love him, though. His number two, <laughs> what? <laughs> his number two, Inside Man. Inside Man, the Spike Lee joint. And then number three, filmed in Austin, Sin City. Sin City, yeah. All right. So nobody got any points. All I ask is someone get at least one at some point during <laughs> this game. What happens if no one does? Then we'll play another game, and Colt gets to go first. Nobody can leave the theater until people get points. Yeah. If, if nobody gets points, we're fucking locking the doors. I think... Sorry. I think there's like a... Well, the, I think you could probably just play a real serious documentary <laughs> on the screen while we just sit and continue to play games. <laughs> or a World Vision. One of those award winners is playing tonight here, I think. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, and we, you know, we rotate around here so that everybody gets a chance to go first in this game. Yeah. So, uh, Lisa, you get to go first. Uh, Rutger Hauer. What? Yeah, Rutger... Howard. Rutger Hauer. Yeah, the great Rutger Hauer. The great Rutger Hauer. Mm -hmm. Just anything I'm that he was in. I'm picturing like like a grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's up there. He probably has grandkids that he maybe doesn't know about. On. Um, All right. Let's move on to Brandon. Okay. Wait, okay. <laughs> This is me. Okay, you were. Don't you, you can't have the audience I'm help not. you. I mean, I, she wasn't. She didn't say anything. She but just like miming shit. Well, was she doing a Rutger, Rutger Hauer mime. You said Rutger Hauer, and then she started doing this running motion. Yeah. And so then I, I see. Like, I see where she's going with that. Yeah. yeah. As yeah. does most of the people here. And yeah. most of the people see where. But like I. Then I was like, oh, is there a movie called The Runner? And there's. Is All right, there? that's that's his guess. All right, I, Seth. I, oh my God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Seth, it's your turn. I'm gonna I want to say uh, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. <laughs> no more miming, audience members. Yeah. I love right, it. Blade. Jesus yes. Christ, man. <laughs> and I, yeah, uh, Colt, I gotta I say, know you know who he is now, right? I gotta say, The Running Man. <laughs> You mean just, just the dance? You didn't have to. Let's do it. Oh, we're yeah. Schwarzenegger and Rucker Howard. I'm just glad somebody got some points because uh, Blade Runner is number three of his right. uh, oh, top nice, grossing Seth. movies. What else was on there? So Seth gets a point. And uh, number one is Batman Begins. Um, yeah, he shows up in there and uh, Morgan Freeman gets to, uh, I don't know what the word is, double cross him or something. Um, and then um, uh, number two, Filmed in Austin, Texas, Sin City. I get it now. All right, Seth has one point. Here's the third name. We'll start with you, Brandon. Yes. Benicio del Toro. <laughs> Was he in something we just list? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> anything? You got Just anything? name a Benicio Sin, Del Toro Sin, movie. Sin, you going Sin City? Is he in Sin City? <laughs> you just have to, you have to guess something. I, is that you, what you want to guess, Sin City? Yeah, I'm going to say Sin, Sin, Sin City. City. I'm going to say Sin City. He was in Closer, also. Remember that you he mentioned was. him. Yeah. Anyway, go I ahead. think it's Closer, not Closer. closer. Yeah, yeah, Closer. No, he's, <laughs> he's fucking, oh, he's always closing in that movie. <laughs> Uh, what do you got, Seth? Right, so what, what, what are you going to go with? I said he's, Sin City. He's Sin, Sin City. City. He's he doesn't know it. why, but he's saying Sin City. Yeah. <laughs> he's saying it. I'll say uh, the usual suspects. <laughs> okay. Colt? Uh, uh, hey, uh, come on. What the hell, man? Was it? I won't say that. probably it was an guys. accident. I bet that was an accident. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, a traffic accident? <laughs> <laughs> I'm blanking. Was, was he the butler in Mr. Deeds? Okay. That's, a, that's an interesting guess. That's just, just... picking a movie that has a character actor in it. Pretty good, right? Yeah. He is a character. All right, uh, Lisa, do you have any Benicio Del Toros? Isn't he in No Country for Old Men? Nope. Okay, so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so so Brandon picks up a point because uh, number three in Benicio del Toro's top three is Sin City. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> and then number two is the audience member. He gets two points for yelling out traffic. <laughs> Please don't say any more answers. And I'm not just talking to that one guy. <laughs> Somebody yells out later. He didn't say anything to me about it. <laughs> I'm just complaining about that other guy. Uh, and then uh, number one, I'm sad kind of that this didn't get picked, uh, didn't get mentioned. Uh, popped right into my brain. Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. Where he plays the collector. Right. And guess what? Usual Suspects, because that movie like grew over time. Like It didn't necessarily have a great box office. Yeah, you gotta... It's his ninth highest. Ninth? After adjusting for inflation. Was that just theatrical? Release uh, only? It's basically, yeah, the, the, the uh, run in theaters. But, you know, they do re-releases yeah. and, you know, all that shit. That movie grossed like $3,000, didn't it? In 1994, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, here we go, you guys. Let's, let me check the time real quick. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me put a little drama in here. This next round of this game might decide the winner today. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, right? But we might have a tie, and then we'll do the tiebreaker. Okay. And I'll apologize to the serious documentary they're showing here later. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun to do this in a movie theater. I don't get to very often, so it's 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 also a. They do everything here, theater th theater theater. Like bur like burlesque and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they act yeah. out the they act out the movie burlesque. They should. Yeah. What about competitive tickling? <laughs> they could do that on. Wait, the how stage. do you win competitive tickling? Mm -hmm. Don't say it. How it's, much? I guess yeah. we all win. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. the winner is the person who likes being <laughs> prodded yeah. without being able to enjoy it. Because the idea is you, you uh, don't laugh. Like, you, how long can you be tickled without laughing? So whoever right. laughs loses? Yeah, but there's more to this movie than that, and that's yeah, why I shut more. down the conversation are about you, it. Because hey, I don't know what it is yet. I don't know if the ticklers see dead people. It's not, it's not that. Does pee pee come into it? <laughs> What's Very that? little pee pee. Pee pee. I but pee? I bet it happens. Oh, it happens. People yeah. pee themselves when oh, they're yeah. getting tickled all the time. Call that a spurt. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw a drunk guy peeing in an alley here at South By, and I ran up and tickled him just so it looked more natural. <laughs> <laughs> and then he pooped. I was like, oh, he's peeing because that guy, that comedian's tickling him. That's why he's peeing. <laughs> Did he just continue peeing? <laughs> In this made-up story, sure. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is for all the marbles. Do you like that movie, Colt? All the marbles? With Benicio Del Toro? 
Marvel it's Madness. About, I played that as a kid. It's about lady wrestlers being managed by Columbo. Really? Mm-hmm. Columbo the detective? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just think, didn't think you guys would know who Peter Falk was. <laughs> oh, right. Peter Falk. <laughs> oh, right. All right. Here we go. The name, I'm going to start with you, Seth. Our Lord. The name is Josh Hartnett. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> what do you Har- want to go with? What, what am I going to do with him? <laughs> <laughs> name what a movie you think is in his top three. Oh, in Josh terms Hartnett. of money? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or in terms no, of how money. many likes did it get? <laughs> On social media, uh, it Josh Hartnett, Pearl Harbor. Okay. Thank you for the applause. It's a smart guess. Let's go to Colt. Um, the city that I live in, Wicker Park. What? Screw you! I don't know. People aren't sad that you live in Wicker Park. They're sad that you picked that movie as a top-grossing. They just hate thing. that movie. Yeah. Lisa, do you know who Josh Hartnett is? <laughs> I feel like he's kind of hunky, maybe. Uh-huh. Is he like a heartthrob? A little bit, yeah. What movie did you say, Seth? Pearl Harbor. Mm. Rem- remember that? <laughs> remember that chestnut from 98? <laughs> I love a war movie. You know, he's not, he doesn't have a huge career, but I'd say he's been in at least 11 movies. Uh, uh. Ocean's Alive! <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, this is too fun. <laughs> I think I found a new direction for the show. Bring people on who know nothing about movies, <laughs> then just torture them the entire time. <laughs> Doug, do you remember when I guessed Waterworld? <laughs> <laughs> That's never a bad guess, because Jack Black is in it. I didn't know Jack Black was in it. It was an accident. And that was what a I was... A black accident, so... <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, the black... <laughs> Brandon? Okay, so... Wait, remember that movie where he couldn't uh, come during Lent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know it. Yeah. Very um, biblical. Um, yeah, 40 Days and 40 Nights. There you go. Yeah, or but should that be my? Can I say, can I just like talk about that movie and then just I talked about it. I'm not like oh can I talk about it now? But like can I have a different guess? I'll just have that as my guess. Fuck it. I'm sorry. That's okay. a weird request. All right. Why I does he? Why does he get cheered for shitty movie Forty Days and I get booed for Wicker Park? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Watch both movies. <laughs> That doesn't matter. It's the gross after inflation. All right. Very exciting finish here because nobody took my Sin City bait. Uh. He's in Sin City. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for trying. And, uh, but it was number four. Oh. So if somebody went for it, I would went, nope, sorry. <laughs> But coming in at uh, number three, Halloween H2O. He was in that one where they used water to kill Michael Myers. <laughs> and then at number two for him, uh, this is a good one, uh, Black Hawk Down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he was one of oh, those. That's the, I was going to say Black Hawk Down, and then he said Pearl Harbor. And then I was like, oh, he's not in Black Hawk Down. He's in Pearl Harbor, but he's in No, he is boat. in Black Hawk Down. And so Down. then I said 40 Days, 40 Nights, the movie where he doesn't come. And I know that that's not number one. And I know another movie where he didn't come. Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor is number one. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Herzog gets three points for a total of four, and he is our winner. Oh, wicked. You can't keep the, pe- the pink people down. How do you say it? Yassim? Yassim? Have you seen oh, that shit. movie? That's your Wait. name? Yassim. Yo! I met, I met him outside. Oh, Big you Sick. should catch up later. So Yassim. <laughs> Yassim, could you mind coming down here and getting all your prizes? Good. I'm sorry, Good Nick. Good work. Wow. Yassim, you did it. You really did it. 
You brought a terrible sign and you won. <laughs> no, you did a great job. Don't bringing apologize this, for yourself. You got some sweet. Do wig. I give him his wig back? Does yeah, he, it's Do I have to keep the keep the wig? Because he, he needs something to wear at the Roots show I gotta, tonight. I, wanna, <laughs> I needed a wardrobe for the really show. Really wants later. to fit in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to. That Hello Kitty belt would look cute with that wig, though. Yeah, that would go, go well together. But congratulations, congratulations Justine. Congratulations, Justine. <laughs> All right, real quick, you guys, because we only got like three minutes left. Let's go through and do some plugs. What do you got to plug, Seth Herzog? Well, I, you know, I, I do my normal uh, Tuesday night uh, economy show in uh, New York's um, city. Um, <laughs> sweet. Every Tuesday at the Slipper Room. Classic fun. show. Great show. Yeah. Brandon's done it a bunch yes. of times. Great, great show. And what else? That's, that's about it for now. Oh, I'm doing Will's Pub in, in Orlando. I think uh, that's also on a Tuesday, like April uh, 5th or no, 4th, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Brandon Wardell, what do you got going on? I'm, uh, in, I'm in Cleveland on 420. Hey, you guys smoke Kush? Um, <laughs> hilarities. And then uh, I'm at Helium in Portland on the 25th. Um, <laughs> it is a gas. <laughs> I'm at, uh, I'm at Brown University on April 8th. I was at a couple of universities. Just go to my website on uh, Lime. Google Brandon Wardell and then just go from there, I guess. Yeah, get into it. <laughs> Find out everything about him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lisa Delarios. Well, I'm a comedian here in Austin, and so I'm out and about. Uh, and I'll be doing shows at Moon Tower, so that's exciting. <laughs> I don't know which ones, but, uh, and I am on Instagram and I do put a lot of pictures of my dogs and the occasional hedgehog in chinchilla. All right. Lovely. Cold Cabana. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, at Cold Cabana. My Wrestling Road Diaries documentary series. It's a new one. It dissects comedy and wrestling. Uh, I have a podcast, The Art of Wrestling. Also, I'm a traveling wrestler. I'm on the road about 200 days a year. In the next couple weeks, I'll be in Cleveland, Windsor, Ontario, London, Ontario, Orlando, Cape Breton, Canada, St. Louis, Chicago, and Clive, Iowa. Is that a thing? Clive Owens, Iowa. I will be in. <laughs> uh, and all my uh, appearances are at coltcabana.com. Thank you. All right. I will try my best to come to one of those uh, places that you're uh, doing your wrestling, come see you, and then you can, uh, we'll, you know, have you back on this show if, that, if we can work out the timing. Perfect. I love it. Um, I'm going to be uh, at doing Getting Dug with High live on April 20th at the Coach House in San Juan Capistrano, and uh, of course, douglasmovies.com for uh, all of my stuff. And uh, thank you to South By and the staff here at the Stateside Theater. And one more time for Cole Cabana, Lisa Delarios, Brandon Wardell, and Seth Herzog. Doug Benson, everybody. <laughs> And as always, as always, the shitheads are very interesting here in Austin, Texas. <laughs> the lines at Alamo, <laughs> the lines at Alamo South Lamar are a shithead. I don't know if that's a South by thing or just all the time. 2016 is a shithead. Oh yeah. And probably my favorite of them all. If I had to pick a favorite. White supremacy is a shithead. <laughs> Play that closing theme. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold is viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room in his heart.